Hey, Danielle in here, and I'm standing outside my car, and just like a lot of us, it's hard to keep your car clean sometimes. And those of you that have young kids or teens, it's even harder to keep that car clean, especially if you're not going to the car wash and things like that, to vacuum it out sometimes. So sometimes a portable system is the way to go. Some of us have big shop vacs at home, but sometimes you don't want to lug all that out and get the big shop vac out doing all that. So I've been looking for a small little handheld to get me in between me going to the car wash and going to the detail and getting my car detailed. And this is the Sherilon Car Vacuum, Sherilon Car Vacuum Cleaner. We're gonna unbox this thing, check it out, put it through its paces because my car needs some vacuuming right now. So we're gonna put this thing through its paces, see how it works and see if this is a small solution that can help you out in between taking it to the car wash or getting it detailed. Daniel Lanier, Sherilon Car Vacuum Cleaner, let's do it. All right, let's open it up and see what we got in the box here. Filter. The vac itself. There's a vac and I like it because it's got that cyclone technology going on. So I'm hoping that that makes a difference in the cleaning. Extra fuse, cleaning brush, little carry-on bag, it's pretty cool. And the other thing that made me are instructions. The other thing that made me choose this setup was the hose attachments. Like it's got some pretty nice hose attachments here for cleaning the car, a little extension wand. It's actually got a hose that you can use so you can get down in those crevices and really do some cleaning. It's compact, it's easy. So hopefully this thing really works well and we can see it get the job done. And we're gonna start off with the trunk back here and see how it works. Let's do it. To open the canister, you've got two push pads on the sides. I'm just gonna push those in. And I'm gonna pull that apart. So now I got the canister open. And then that's where you can take the filter out. And then if need be, because sometimes you may have to take, if you have a jam or something like that, or just for cleaning, you may have to take out this little orange section too. And then you can just, for that, you can just pull it right out. You can just pull that right out and take that out. That's not a problem right there. And then putting it back together, just press that all the way down, put the filter back in, and I'm just gonna lock it. And you wanna make sure the top is locked. Did you see that? Because sometimes I've noticed that I'll get the two push pins in. So the push pins are in, but the top's not locked. And that's going to lose suction. So you want to make sure that you got everything tight and the top on there as well locked up when you put it back together. And that's it. So two push pins. Pull apart. Filter out. If you need to take the orange out for cleaning or jams, you can help get the jams out or just to clean it. You may have to take that out and just push everything back down in there. Filter back in. Pins in. Just make sure the top is locked. You got a good seal all around, and that's it. To get the dirt out, once you get it full, you've got a little twist right here. You just gonna twist that off and then dump it. So again. That's just a little cap, twist on to lock it, twist it off, and then you're just gonna dump it just like that, all right? And then just like you were working your vacuum in your house, you've got your different attachments where I can attach the holes, and then I can put attachments on the holes. And I love this. I just love being able to get down in between the seats and get all that crap out of there. And if I wanted to put the attachments right on, I could put them right on as well. And then you've got the extension. If you need the extension, you can use the extension. And that's going to go in. Your hose is gonna go in. So it gives you a little extender so you can extend out 
if you need it. So I love that. Kind of like a small little vacuum cleaner, but for your car, just like we want. And then it's got your AC power that you're going to plug into one of your sockets, like your cigarette lighter. And uh, as you can see, the cord is really long. But if you got plug, a lot of new plug uh, cars, especially SUVs, they'll have an outlet in the back as well. So you can use that also. So let's do some cleaning. All right, so we're all set up. And we're going to start off, we're going to use... Just the hose. We're going to try it with this little brush attachment. As you can see, I got a lot of dirt in here to work with. Now, you don't have to have your car like running, but you have to have the AC on when you do this. So I got it on. Power it up. Let's go. All right, so we got a little bit of dirt in there going on. A little bit of stuff in there. Now, I will say the brush worked good, breaking some of this dirt away from the fabric. So I will say the, the brush worked good, working some of the dirt away from the fabric. But I'd like a little bit more suction power. So maybe now with loose rocks and stuff, maybe in my floor mats inside, maybe I'll see it work a little bit better. But things that are kind of stuck onto the carpet here, it took me a minute to kind of break them loose and I had to use the brush to do that. So I'd like to see a little bit more suction power on that, but I mean, overall it was okay. So it's doing a pretty good job. Um, it's, you know, I got most of the big dirt out. I say the hardest part with back here was getting the things that were stuck kind of embedded into the fabric here in the carpet. Took the brush, I had to break it free. So again, I like to see a little bit more um, vacuum suction power, but overall I did a good job. It looks, uh, definitely looks better than it did back here. So it looks better. But like I said, just a little bit more suction power, but not bad overall. Let's take it in the front. We're going to do the floor, the floor mats and stuff like that and see how it does with that stuff. All right. We started off in the back of the car. Did a quick test of the share line back there. Worked out great. No issues. But now we are in the high traffic area of your car. We're in the front seat. This is where people are going in and out of your car, bringing all kind of debris in and out. Now, normally I would take the mats out. I would shake them out, get the big debris off first. But I want to see how good the suction is on the share line. Can it get out big debris? We're going to test it out and see if it can. We're going to go through it, put it through its paces, put some of the adapters on, see how good it works up here in the high traffic area and see what we got. I'm feeling pretty confident from what it did in the back that it's going to do a good job up here in the front. But let's get to it and check it out. Let's go. So let's take a look at some of these adapters. So the first one I'm going to put on is just the skinny tip. So you can use this to get like under your seats and in between your seats. But let's, see how, let's see how it does right in here. I mean, it's doing a really good job for such a small diameter of the holes. Um, it's really still doing a good job of uh, sucking it. that good suction. You can see the debris in here. We're doing a good job of suction up, sucking up all these leaves and uh, grass and little bits of things in here. So it's doing a good job. So I was thinking, I did the check in my car with the vac and 
You know, I just didn't have a lot of debris in my car. It worked great, but it really wasn't a good test. So I decided to take a look at my daughter's car and go into baseball practice and back from the park. Yeah, this will be a good test. Let's get it. So far so good, pretty good job in there. Let's keep it going. So not, yeah, there's a little bit of dust in here, it did fairly good. And like I said in the previous video, I would normally shake out the mats before I started and get the bigger debris out, but I mean, it didn't do a horrible job. Had some trouble with little pebbles and rocks, definitely had some trouble getting those all the way up the uh, suction hose, but overall not bad. Let's take a look at coming out of my daughter's car. Let's take a look at just the debris that we got. You guys to be able to really see it. So that's the filter. So we can see the filter is definitely pretty saturated. So we're gonna have to clean that out. Make sure we get a good suction because that's that's gonna be a part of your suction is your filter. So if your filter is full. You can see it's just pretty easy to clean. Just knock that out. I'm going to grab the brush here in a minute and we can just brush that out. But that's going to be a part of our suction. So this could be the reason we lost some suction and we we're trying to get those um, the big rocks. So I'm going to do, I got an idea. I think I'm going to do another little test next. But that's our filter, which we can see we got good suction there. And let's take a look at what we got. As far as debris. So we can see we got, you know, we did a good job. Got a lot, quite a little dirt. We saw the filter and a lot of dirt in there coming out. So we did a good job. I'm gonna take it through and it did pick up some of the little, some of the pebbles. So it did get some of those pebbles. And like I said, the filter just may have been full while we lost suction. So I'm gonna clean the filter. Then I got another little test we're gonna do. So let's check this out. All right, so this is the little brush that came with the vac. So we're gonna see, good, this cleans the filter. And I probably wanna do this. I'm just putting all the dirt in my car. I'm gonna do this outside. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this over. We're gonna move this outside. I'm gonna do this outside the car. All right, that looks pretty good. So 
you just tap that filter on the ground, and then you can see dirt coming out. So that helps too, just tapping it on the ground. So we've done a few tests now. We started off in the back with my car. We did the floor mats in my car. We did the floor mats in my daughter's car. And in my daughter's car, we had a little issue with those little pebbles, which made me think we gotta do a little more testing. I gotta take this just a little deeper. So I got a couple things here. We got some dog hair. Yeah, I know it's weird a uh, bag of dog hair, but here we are. Got some trail mix. Got kids, I got some goldfish. And then I got the little puffs. So we're going to see how it does with some stuff like this and put it through a, one more round of testing just to see how I feel about all these items right here. Let's go. All right, so we got some fish here. They ain't going to be right if they're not broken up, right? So I'm going to break a bunch of them up. This will be our little fish roll right here. in there. All right, I'm gonna start off the big stuff with just the holes. Throw all the way on. All right. Yeah, those almonds right there. Let's see. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. Hold on. Show you guys what we got going on. So it was doing good, but if we look right here, I got a jam pack of all the nuts, all the nuts and stuff is right here. So I've got all the, so we're sucking everything up and I got some actually in the chamber. Let's see if we can, let's see if I can free it up. I feel like I'm working a blender. But yeah, you can see that's where my pile up is. So what I'm gonna do, I gotta open it up and get that out and then I continue. Now, it did a good job, got that up, but that's something you gotta think about that is gonna clog up after a while. So we just gotta open that up. We're gonna get all that out. So let's get that part out. I'm gonna put these back. And I wanna see how long it takes to clog up. So all of this came out. So all of this was in the actual tank. So we got a lot, all the fish we got out. All that stuff came out fine, so we got all the fish out. Got a whole bunch of almonds out. So those guys came out, and then we got this little bit. We didn't get to the dog hair, so let's keep it going. All right, so let's see if we can get this stuff that we put back. So this was what the jam up was. So we'll see if we can get that in and the dog hair.
All right, so we got everything up, but we're starting to get a little pile up right there. So we might be able to break that one free. Oh, man. Looks like this one nut is too big to go down, so I'm going to let him out. So this one was too big. This one was too big to go to go in there. This guy right here wouldn't go in at all. So we'll keep it going with the dog here. Let's go. Right, the dog hair was good, but got a little bit stuck right here also. We got a big wad right here that we got to pull out, and then we got some stuck right in here. I'm going to see if I can work the rest of this out without taking that dog hair out. So we were able to get all of that out of there. We still got the dog hair still kind of sitting right where it was at. But we got the rest of the debris up. Only thing we couldn't get was this little nut right here, which is pretty big. Couldn't get that in there. Um, all right, so let me, I'm going to dump this. We can see what we got, and then we'll finish it up. All right, so let's go ahead and dump out the contents. And then we'd have to go in here and see how I gotta, I gotta pull this, this dog hair out. So that's gonna be a little challenge. So the challenge is getting that dog hair out so that could be a bit of an issue if you do have a dog getting to that Let's see. I'm gonna have to see if I can there we go we take out the orange piece then we can get everything out just by taking out that orange piece So just a little bit of a challenge with some of the things getting stuck here in this chamber right here. We had a little bit of a challenge there. The nut not going all the way through right here. The dog hair getting stuck around. So we'd have to kind of work that out when you're cleaning it. Overall, not bad. I say overall, it did a really good job. As you can see, I got everything out. I don't have any remnants of anything. A little bit of dog hair here and there, but I say overall, it did a really good job. It definitely got all the fish and the puffs, the trail mix, got all that. Only exception was that one nut that we talked about, so that was the, <laughs> the only thing left. But it did a really fairly good job here. Uh, I'm happy and pleased with how much it did. And it was all about the suction that I talked about when it came to my daughter's car on that rock was probably the filter was clogged and I was losing suction power. But with this stuff, cleaning the filter, it did a really good job. Share line car vacuum. So I was looking for a small compact car vacuum, like a mini version. That's why I went with the hose attachment. But some things to think about if you're going to do something like this is you could get a debris jam like we saw with the big debris. So you have to take it apart a few times during cleaning. You may have to take it apart a few times to get it out and you're going to open it up. You may have to take this orange section out as well to get the debris that's stuck up in here out because sometimes you may get that when you're talking about bigger debris in here. But overall, it did a good job. Got a lot of dirt, grass. It did have the suction power to suck up those goldfish, those puffs, the trail mix. It had the suction power to suck them all up. But again, uh, just the debris getting stuck in here, the jam that it got, because you're talking about this little hose chamber right here. So that may be something that you got to consider when thinking about something like this. But it does a great job. Other than that, you just may have to clean it out a few times 
in between. Cleaning the filter was an easy process, and if you lose suction, it could be the filter. Remember that, it could be the filter's just dirty if you lose suction, so clean that filter out. You can use a brush. Tap it on the ground as well. You tap that filter on the ground, you'll notice that you get some dirt out also. So that's, um, that's it. So easy to take apart, easy to use. The attachments were easy, easy cleanup. Um, I liked it a lot. So if you're thinking about getting a car vacuum that's kind of like a mini version of a shop vac, the Sherline may be the one for you. This is Daniel Lanier. I got more reviews, DIY, how-tos, and of course, cool motivation coming at you. I'm gonna do some more vacuum, and I'm out. Deuces.